those those chowder bowls, those bread bowls. Oh, uh, yeah, I love the bread bowls, Yum. sourdough. Oh, I'm hungry again, but thankfully we have something coming up that uh, we'll like. Welcome back to Living It Away. <laughs> the latest big screen Lego movie features a group of ninjas and fight choreography by Jackie Chan. Hey, Mom, um, can we talk about Dad? It's tough being a teenager, but try being in a secret ninja hero team protecting your city from a bad guy who happens to be your father. And things get tougher in the Lego Ninjago movie. The third movie in the Lego Cinematic Universe is based on an original toy line and TV series, which you don't need to have seen to understand this movie. Created in Ninjago in 2011, and it's about uh, uh, some ninja who protect the land of Ninjago, uh, led by Master Wu, and they constantly fight Garmadon, who is Master Wu's evil brother. You have the power to win the battle without fighting. Martial arts legend Jackie Chan does triple duty in Ninjago, voicing the young ninjas, master, acting in live-action sequences, and bringing his fight team's choreography talents to the production. My team have a, all kind of style. We have a Jiu-Jitsu, Karate, Hapkido, Chinese Kung Fu, Tai Chi. Lego Spin Kick. The challenge is, is uh, we do the best we can because I know animation do better than us. They just want the movement, the correct movement. They make it faster, they make it more uh, different. He said he wanted to conquer the world. He is so good. The Lego Ninjago movie is rated PG. Yet another one that I would likely see, because I've seen all of them. <laughs> how fun. And then to see kind of behind the scenes, yeah. right, on how that's all done. It's so much Very fun, cool. Yeah. Well, what goes best with movies? Primo popcorn, of course. Now, imagine this. You're at the buffet line, but then you look to the end of the line and see that chunk of prime rib. You know what I'm talking about. And you're praying that no one else has the same idea as you. Then when you finally reach the end, you beg the chef, can I please get that end, end cut? cut. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. Well, you don't have to dream or wait for another buffet line, folks. Just sink your taste buds into Primo Popcorn's prime rib end cut, and your taste buds will be in heaven once again. Oh, and there's another mascot shirt to go with your cravings, so you <laughs> can let everyone know what you're thinking about. Buy the shirt and get a prime rib end cut bag of popcorn for, guess what? It's a four-letter word, and it sounds like tree. It's free, that's right, while supplies last. Woo, so you buy the shirt and you get the popcorn for free. Yes. Okay, taste the popcorn. Oh, thank you, good. Tell I'm... me if it really tastes like the end cut. Okay. And because I am rib. a prime rib end cut connoisseur. I don't know how he comes up with these flavors. It this is, is so really good. amazing. This is so good. Yeah, because I, I only told you to try one, but this is like your third handful. <laughs> I noticed. I noticed. This is so good. <laughs> All right. Well, you need to check it out. Also, there's been a lot of battlefields in the fight for women's rights, including a Texas tennis court in 1973. Now, here's a sneak peek at a new movie that recreates that historic tennis match between Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean King, dubbed the Battle of the Sexes. Billie Jean King, already a champion of women's rights, is now the most successful female player of all time. I am not saying that women don't belong on the court. Who would pick up the balls otherwise? Oh, my God. Emma Stone is Billie Jean King, and Steve Carell is Bobby Riggs in Battle of the Sexes. Carell says Riggs, a former Wimbledon champ, was more concerned with the spectacle than social change. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put the show back in show business. Bobby's a clown. Him. She knew that he was a he was a huckster, you know, he was a a self promoter and he he was in it purely for the fun, for the you know, the circus of it all. Well, I love women in the bedroom and in the kitchen, but That's these cool. days they wanna be everywhere, they wanna be doing everything. Where is it gonna end? <laughs> Keep talking, Bobby. The more nonsense you spell, the worse it's gonna be when you lose. Acting social change. You go, girl. Stone says it's the first time she's focused on the physic physicality of a role. That is the way that she was able to make change in the world was by being an incredible tennis player. That was her. That was her avenue to this voice that she had. So that made physicality incredibly important. She's so much like me in this. I mean, she's, she gets my voice, my tempo. She gets my mannerisms. It was a very galvanizing thing to 
to get to play her and to realize that we that every single voice one person can make such a huge difference you know the battle of the sexes was really a battle of social change it was it was about so much more than tennis you know it's sad that it's still relevant you want people to kind of nostalgically reflect back on oh my gosh in the 70s can you believe that there was any sort of attitude like this you know good thing that that doesn't exist today but it does we want a little bit of what you got yes That's it does battle of the sexes is rated pg-13 that looks like a movie i would enjoy i actually got to meet and interview billy jean king in another life when i was a sportscaster did you yeah she's a great interview wow was a, just good talking to her and so I, this looks great. There looks must like be so much pressure to play somebody who's still alive. Thankfully, she's given her blessing. She yeah. said Emma did a great job, so yeah. looks good. All right, now it's time for our next treat. Chef Rye has done it again. He's taken that beloved Kahlua liqueur and removed all the alcohol out, and so everyone can enjoy his Kahlua coffee chip frozen custard. What's the chip in the name? Well, for more bells and whistles, he's thrown in chocolate. Now available in pint size as well. Okay, so, I'm oh, stealing this Oh, you're just going to grab it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, yeah, go I'm ahead. taking it out of the shot because okay. I love their frozen custard. And we are waiting. Mm, 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 we're mm. waiting. Mm. I'm going to, I'm going to, I have a spoon. Oh, oh, it's I'll good. I'll wait, I'll wait because there, there is another movie that's hitting the screens this weekend. Mm. The spy flick Kingsman. While she enjoys that, we're going to enjoy mm. a preview of The Golden Circle. The cast of Kingsman, The Golden Circle, are teaming up with some Americans called the Statesmen. These two elite secret organizations must band together to defeat a common enemy, played by Julian Moore. I think it's always fun to play something that's original. You know, we're always looking for something that's entertaining and different, and I, I thought the first Kingsman was exactly that. I work for Kingsman. The Taylors. Star Taron Egerton did more action scenes in this one. I think we just realized that we had to do what we did in the first one and try and, you know, uh, engage with the same sense of surprise that we had in the first one. But the action sequences are far more epic in scale, just as dynamic, just as fresh, just as original. Kingsman, the Golden Circle, is rated R. I will admit, I have not yet seen the first of these movies, okay. and so now I'm thinking I might. I've seen it, and it is really good. There's okay. a lot of swearing, though. I didn't realize it was rated R mm -hmm. <laughs> when I started watching it with the kids. Oh. Um, <laughs> lots and lots of swearing, but really good. I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, yeah. so I'll make sure that I have my headphones in when I'm watching it on the plane. I'm also sure that you're going to like this. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and try it. Try it. Sometimes people stop me on the road, and they're like, do you really oh. like it? Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, we're lying. <laughs> this bag is almost empty. So good. So good. We love our Thursdays with Primo Popcorn. Now, if you want to check out these flavors or their many other unique flavors, all you have to do is head to the Primo Popcorn store on Sand Island Access Road. Yep. And, of course, if you can't get to the store or if you live on a neighbor island, don't sweat. You can always click and shop online at primopopcorn.com. Believe me. You want to try this. You really want to so go get all this. It's so good. All of their flavors. I mean, really taste like the real thing. Yeah. That's really good. This is really good. I don't care what you think. Yeah. I think it's good. It's like an end cut, a prime rib end cut mm -hmm. in a bag. Yeah. It's perfect. It's so perfect. Very cool. All right. A little bit earlier in the